Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 44 in chapter 32. Chapter 32 is about light reflection and refraction. So there you can see we have this uh, object, this system. So the light incident from the air. So the air, we can see the incident index is N1 is 1, 0. And the incidence angle, we can write it there as a theta 1. Now it travels to the Object, the first layer is glass, so we know the incident of glass N2 is 1.56, x we write it there. And then it travels to water, and then the index of water, we write it as N3 there. Now first one, we need to find the angle of this light when it enters the glass. So that means this one, we need to find the reflection, uh, refraction angle, right? So we can write down the snail equation. So in this one, at this part, incident wave is N1 sine theta 1. And then refraction wave N2 sine theta 2. So in this one, we can say N1 is given, theta 1 is given, N2 is given. So very easily, we can find the theta 2 in this equation, right? Convert this equation into a given function, look like this one, and input all the given quantity in the answer there. Very similarly, we can write down the equation from the glass to the water. In this case, we can say incident wave is N2, right? So from glass is the N2 sine theta 2, and then the refraction N3 times the sine theta 3. So convert this equation, we can get function for theta 3 and then input all the given quantity, get the answer there. The third one, what would, uh, would be the refracted angle if the this light enters the water directly? So that means there is no glass, right? So incident wave becomes uh, in the air. So this is N1, sine theta 1. And the refra refracted wave is N3, sine theta 3. And then we can convert this equation, get a function for theta 3, input a given quantity, get answers there. Thank you.